one of the prolotherapists at Caring Medical in the Oak Park, Illinois office. And I'm going to talk today about whiplash uh, because that's a common thing that patients often call us about and experience. And people, oftentimes people that um, have had an episode of whiplash, you know, years after the accident or the trauma, they're really struggling. Um, and that's not everybody, but a lot of people are, and they may not just have like headaches and neck pain. They may say, oh my gosh, my ears ring, I am dizzy, I have brain fog, my balance is off. Um, you know, maybe in more severe cases, I have difficulty swallowing, my voice is getting hoarse, my tongue goes numb. Um, and that's just kind of saying a few of all these different kind of weird symptoms that can occur post whiplash. And so what happens, like let's say you're um, in a car accident, you get you know, rear-ended and your neck you know, kind of bobbles back and forth, what can happen is you can actually suffer significant ligament damage in your neck that then renders your neck unstable. So all the ligaments in throughout your whole body are basically rubber bands that, that hold your skeleton together. And if the rubber bands you know, are too loose or they're too stretched out in your neck, your vertebrae are gonna shift and move more and it almost kind of might make you feel like a bobblehead or they might shift enough that now they're starting to press on adjacent nerves or blood vessels, anything that might actually um, contribute to those symptoms that I listed before. And a lot of times, people that suffer whiplash they're probably, they might be okay, like right after the accident, you know, they might go to physical therapy or, um, you know, do other kinds of treatments that kind of get them to be functional and okay, but over time their condition actually might get worse and it might get more and more disabling as times go on and I still see specialists, neurologists, um, headache experts, and if none of that is happening, or excuse me, none of that is helping, then we actually, we have to look a little farther and see, okay, what's actually going on to the soft tissue integrity of your neck after this injury? Um, and ironically, you know, people think of whiplash like, oh, I, I got in this huge car accident, I'm gonna injured my neck, which can happen. Oftentimes too, you can get almost like mini whiplash from just like little fender benders, you know, and those add up, you know, maybe you've never had a big car accident, but you've been in three, four fender benders throughout your lifetime. Well, damage to those tissues can add up and you might be in the same position as somebody that wasn't a big accident, even if you weren't. Um, some, um, someone that has suffered whiplash or just has like a chronic neck issue in general, oftentimes will complain of muscle tightness. Like they'll say, gosh, like my muscles here, everything is just so tight. Um, I've done massage work, I've done myofascial work, active release, you know, all of these therapies specifically targeted for that and it keeps coming back. You know, maybe it helps a little bit or it helped me, you know, a little bit in the beginning, but now I'm not making any progress. Again, you gotta, if, if that's what's happening, you gotta dig deeper. What actually is going on? If it was just a muscle issue, it would have gotten better with all of those therapies. So if it's not, um, what lies under your muscles are your ligaments. You know, and those ligaments, um, again, are rubber bands that hold your whole body together, uh, all your bones together, I should say. And if those ligaments are loose, like you've taken a rubber band and you stretch it out and it doesn't kind of recoil back, it's, you know, permanently stretched out and loose, your muscles are going to protect it. So there's just like this natural reflex where your muscles are going to spasm and tighten trying to protect that area. So all the massage in the world is not going to prevent them from doing that. That's just a natural reflex that happens in our body. When someone comes in our office um, post whiplash or post trauma and they have a lot of these neurological symptoms, like again, like they're dizzy, maybe they have blurry vision, ringing in their ears, um, and, and we could go on and on, um, we oftentimes start with a digital motion x-ray as part of our evaluation, which we call a DMX, uh, which is basically an x-ray movie that shows us, hey, when you move your neck to the side or look down, this is how your vertebrae are shifting or maybe staying in place or whatnot. And Based on that, oftentimes with, with whiplash patients, we'll find that they have instability at what we call C1, C2, which are just the first um, and second cervical vertebrae in your neck. And when they move a lot, which we'll be able to actually see and measure on the digital motion x-ray, there's a lot of precious real estate around there, a lot of blood vessels, a lot of nerves that those, those um, vertebrae can hit when they're moving that can contribute to a lot of neurological symptoms. So if we do prolotherapy, which is a regenerative injection technique that tightens those ligaments and get those joints um, more stable, we can actually get those neurological symptoms to go away.